What's up guys? My name is Kuya Seb and welcome to my channel. This is my first time vlogging, although this is my first time being in front of a camera. Uh, still sort of out of my comfort zone. I did used to stream games on Twitch, so I'm hoping that I can translate over my knowledge of streaming in front of a camera and talking to myself uh, into vlogging. Um, I do hope that I can take you guys with me on a journey throughout my motorsports career and my life over here on the East Coast. I moved from California to Georgia not too long ago, about four months. Um, decided to take a leap of faith and challenge myself in my career. Um, I wanted to get to the next level of motorsports, um, experience wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, see what it's like to work with top manufacturers, teams, and so on. Um, even though I do miss my friends and family back at home, I also do miss the food. I do not regret my decision moving over here. Uh, but yeah, enough with the intro. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work, and then let's get going. Kind of cold out here right now um a little foggy well it's not too cold it's maybe like 57 degrees out we got imza trucks all out here kind of like dead season right now i got my baby right here looks like crap right now look at those wheels let's head into the shop all right so we're in the shop i still haven't made my coffee for the morning I'm still stuck on this BMW doing the hood latch on the BMW here. This E46 had some issues with it trying to get the hood open. So I had to remove the entire assembly, change it all out. That was pretty fun. I got lucky with being able to feed the cable through the firewall over here. I also did a valve cover job on it. Did the gasket, did the front cover, front seal, and I also did the oil pan gasket on this thing. This was not fun. I seem to be cursed when it comes to working on BMWs. I don't want to work on them anymore. But I'm going to have to anyway. Then we have a few other cars here. We have an old school vet having some fuel issues, also some carb issues. I'm not familiar with working on carbs myself, but looks pretty cool. And we have a few other things. This car, this GT4 Club Sport right here is going to be getting ready for Sebring at the end of the month. We did an alignment, did an initial inspection, bleeding the brakes, getting new tires on, making sure that the safety net and everything on this car is pretty much good to go. We do have the bowels still in the seat. The alignment just got done last week. And then side skirts are currently off just because we are doing the air jacks. They're going to be getting serviced before we head out to Sebring. So that should be pretty cool. So here is Charlie 718 GT4 Club Sport with the sick distressed Rolex livery. Last time he was out on the track, he had a few issues with the suspension. So we're just checking that out, looking into what could be causing the issue. Um, it seems to be something along the lines of the KW um, canisters. Some noise coming out of one of them. So we gotta check that out. I'm also checking out what's going on with this relay here. Um, this relay is for the chill out system in his car. Um, it went out the last time he went on track. So I'm going to have to do some wiring. Hopefully not get electrocuted. <laughs> um, but we'll see where that goes. We got another GT4 Club Sport here. This one's a fun one. It did not have its front end put together. It just came back from the Chattanooga shop. Uh, the entire front end got retubbed. Look at that, all brand new, put together. Looks like it, nothing ever happened to it. 
we're gonna be putting the fuel cell back into it all the parts that we removed get it ready for the track should be going out to another endurance race soon look how pretty that looks in there look at all this space pretty gnarly but yeah we'll be putting that in throughout the week so it should be interesting to see should be some cool content for you guys We got a GT3 cup, a 996 GT3 cup. In for inspection, getting ready to hit the track again. I haven't seen one of these. This is probably like the first time I'm seeing one of these myself. Underneath is just a Cayman R. This thing's pretty damn loud, but this is gnarly. That full cage. You can access everything underneath this thing, which is wild. This thing's also getting some new wheels, so should be interesting to see it on the car. And the new wheels for that 996 GT3 Cup. Look how clean these are. They're so shiny. Some BBSs, man. I don't remember which model BBS these are, but these are going to look so good on that car. Yeah, that's going to look really good. Can't wait to put these on. But yeah, that's the shop. Um, I am going to go make some coffee before I start working on a few of these things. I'm going to be stuck on this BMW all day, more than likely. So let me get some coffee in me and then I'll see you guys there. I just wanted to go ahead and apologize for this next clip um, the BMW ended up being louder than myself so yeah all right so the E46 is all done got the bumper and everything up front buttoned up so the check all the torque and everything marked everything is done here oil levels good torque levels good letting the car run for a little bit So we're over at the driving club right now. Gonna go pick up a few cars from down below. Some of these cars are pretty cool that they store in here. This right here is a Pike Speed car, pretty cool. Sounds super loud. You can hear it from miles away. Yeah, so we're gonna go head downstairs real quick. Go pick up a car. Got a Formula Mazda down here. A bunch of really cool race cars here. They just store all the race cars here that we worked on. We got GT3s, more club sports, E46, Audi R8. Look at all these things. Some Radicals, MP01. We're gonna be picking this one up, I believe, and bring it back to the shop to get some work done on it. Getting it ready for some track time. Some cool cars here, man. This right here is one of my favorites though. It looks so nice. So yeah, we're picking this NP01 up. We're gonna bring it to the shop. Dude, he's gonna fire it up right now.
So we got the MPO one started. Jimmy's gonna go ahead and bring the car back over to the shop. I'm just gonna turn off the lights over here, lock up, and then I'm gonna head over to the shop. on yeah gonna have some warm butts it's nice that uh, the shop is just literally down the street from road atlanta and where we store the cars is located here at road atlanta at the driving club shout out to the driving club for Storing all of our customer cars over here. Hit them up if you guys have race cars that you want stored over here. Weather's pretty gloomy right now. Fog everywhere, limited visibility. Something I'm not used to for sure. California doesn't have this type of weather. I mean, last week, like negative seven degrees. And that's something I've never had to face in my life. So adapting to the weather here has been a challenge. Um, getting used to the environment has been a challenge as well, but it's not too bad. I'm enjoying it here. Look at that. Now we're right back at the shop. Really quick, not even a minute drive. We're here back at ACI. We're knocking out a few things, getting things ready for track season. We've got chin track day coming up towards the end of February, I believe. And then towards the end of January, Jimmy and I are gonna be heading down to Sebring for driving club. Should be interesting. We got maybe like five, six cars heading down there with us. Uh, here at the shop, we're kind of messing around with the 991 GT3 Cup. Taking it apart, doing a full look over on it, nuts, bolts, making sure everything's torqued down, good to go for the track, for a chin track day. Um, I have the whole car blown up, taken apart, so we're going to cut to some time lapses, some b-rolls for that for you guys. to putting this thing back together we just took delivery of something super cool i just want to share that with you guys so let's go take a look all right guys so this is what we got delivered today we received a bmw m4 gt4 that's a lot of fours um this thing is freaking insane the interior the way it looks outside, the way it sounds, the way it drives is freaking awesome. Comes with AP racing brakes, some really cool steering wheel, really accessible buttons on the dash here. Let's cut to some B-roll and then let's check everything out, man. Start this thing up and see how it sounds. It sounds so beefy in here. Jeez, do you hear that?
right guys so we're gonna cut the video here this is my first vlog so do let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see um we can do more porsche stuff some bmw stuff i'll put in some trackside stuff since it is the off season i don't have any track footage yet but towards the end of january i will have some footage we will be going to sebring should be some cool things to see out there some cool race cars things that i haven't seen myself don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends that would help me out a lot it will also help out with producing other videos in the future so with that being said i have one more clip for you guys i'll see you guys later